automatic Ribata tool, a handheld electrical power tool, can be used in the construction field to tie the curved the rebars. It is light to carry, easy to operate, and efficient to work. There are three models of the machine, the 230, 408, and 600. The first part, the way to fix the wire spool. First, press down the release lever. Make sure the two gears are divided. The second, open the rail stopper. The third, tear up the tape about 50 mm. Stretching out the wire and cutting down the wire head. The fourth, fix the wire spool in the rail holder. Make sure the two white points are inside. Fifth, lock the rail stopper. Tear up the rest tape or the wire. The sixth, make sure the wire is straight. Insert the wire into the wire guide. Keep the wire passing through the two gears until the wire head comes out from the machine about 5 mm. The seventh, release the release lever. Make sure the wire is stick between two gears. Eighth, make sure the main switch and the trigger is off before fixing the battery. Nine, take out the battery and take off the cover. In fix the battery to the machine with a clip. 10. Turn on the main switch to make self-test. 11. Remove the wire head using a clamp. 12. Turn on the trigger to begin the work. The second part. The way to adjust the circle of the knot. Turn the knob in different direction to choose the circles you like. Three circles. Two circles. The third part, the way to adjust the tying strength. Tearing up the label. Inserting the screwdriver into the hole. Turn the screwdriver clockwise to increase the tying strength. And vice versa. Test until the strength is suitable. The fourth part, the way to operate. Put the machine on the crossed rebars. The machine and the rebar are in 245 degree angle. Press the trigger to finish work. Afterward, lift up the machine. The fifth part, the way to change the wire spool. First, turn off the main switch. Second, press down the release lever. The third, open the rail stopper. Fourth, take out the wire spool. The sixth part, machine maintenance. First, turn off the switch and the trigger after use. The second, pull out the battery and cover it. Third, clean the machine using soft cloth. machine well up to the requirement. The seventh part, the way to deal with the common faults. First, 
after pressing the trigger, there is no wire stretching out of the machine. And then there is three types of warning. First step, do a machine self-test. The machine can be normal working. The second step, if the first step cannot work, turn off the main switch, press down the release lever, and stretch out the wire. If the wire is curved, cutting down the curved part and fixing the wire again, the machine can be normal working. The third step, if the wire is smooth enough, just loose the cutter blade. Pick out the stick wire in it. Fix the cutter blade well, the machine can be normal working. Second, after pressing the trigger, there is one time warning. Turn off the switch and check the wire guide. Clean the guide and turn on the switch. The machine can be normal working. If there is still one time warning, please send the machine to the professional. The third, after pressing the trigger, there is two times warning. The battery is power off. Change a full charging battery. The fourth, after pressing the trigger, there is continued one time warning. Turn off the switch and check if there is something in the axle. Clean the asshole.